Hey guys, I just want to first say that this is actually a very, very complex topic. And what I am about to present is not that I have the right answers or that I know better than anyone else, but it's merely just kind of uh, my view. And I think maybe some of the other support players kind of point of view as well um, on how to maybe pot make a possible change. But more than anything, I was just looking to maybe start a conversation about the future of the support role when it comes to the game, because it is something that I have been very concerned about for some time. And this was just a good opportunity to actually bring up the conversation hey guys it's dreadnought today i want to talk about uh rigar and the balance changes and kind of uh the future of the support role this isn't just because the recent changes of Rhaegars are something that most people are not really too happy with, myself included, uh, but actually because of it's kind of a conversation that i've wanted to open up to the heroes community for some time I first want to talk about Rhaegar changes and how they follow a pattern of something that i kind of fear when it comes to the support role then I'll go over a little bit of a kind of how the uh, problem of Rhaegar might be able to be approached and then give kind of a little bit of suggestions of what I think uh, Rhaegar might need. First, I just want to talk a little bit about Rhaegar himself. A few patches ago, he was very, very heavily reworked. Um, pretty much his entire talent system was kind of just um, revamped from the ground up. He was later nerfed and the community really didn't have too many negative things to say about it. He was uh, blatantly the strongest hero in the game um, and very universally contested across all regions. He just he had a lot going for him and so the nerf a lot of people felt like was necessary. He was then later again actually nerfed after his first initial nerf, um, eventually getting to the point where his ancestral healing was actually pushed back to a hundred second cooldown. Ancestral healing is actually the largest single single target healing in the entire game, and it makes sense that it was actually nerfed to be such a long cooldown to make it a little bit more skillful when used um, from the support role. I definitely like that change. The recent changes in the past notes actually suggest that Rhaegar should no longer be able to self-cast his heroic, um, and that's kind of what kind of inspired this conversation that I wanted to project out um, here to the community. The justification for the nerf was that Rhaegar is too hard to kill with how much he brings to the table. He's kind of a uh, jack of all trades. The amount of damage he's able to output at the time with the healing that he's able to do and everything else that he has is just too much for his survivability. And a lot of people are worried that this is going to take away from his aggressive style of play. And so I know this is going to seem weird to a lot of you, but I actually think this has a lot of positive things to it. Not so much the change, but more the idea behind the change. First, it shows that Blizzard's actually willing to make controversial moves when it comes to balancing. That might not be something that works out with this change specifically, but in the future, it might work very drastically with a change, and that might be exactly what Heroes of the Storm needs to separate itself in a very oversaturated market that is the MOBA genre. Second, it actually kind of pulls away from that easy-to-learn mentality that Blizzard was so heavily focused on um, by separating Rhaegar and making it to where his is one of the few heroics that can't be cast onto himself. That actually might not be like the most complex thing in the world, but it's a step in a direction that Blizzard seemed to never want to go early on. Again, this actually might not work with this change specifically, but it's still something about the mentality and approach to the game that must be appreciated. These few things are actually something that I feel like a lot of people in the competitive scene actually were afraid were never going to be implemented in the game. Everybody was so afraid. Everybody felt Blizzard was so set on their ways that they were never going to give in and kind of make the game good for the competitive level. And before we kind of tackle the approach of what is Rhaegar, I really want to kind of talk about why this change specifically scares me. This is actually the second change in the game after the cleanse rework that is taking something support-like away from the support and being able to use it on themselves. These changes are actually definitely necessary because otherwise the support role would essentially become mindless comparative to the other roles. My fear with this be change being suggested towards the support role is that the support role is slowly becoming a sit back and heal and there are no resources available for the support role to become a playmaker. Cleanse is something that I think a lot of people can agree was very broken and too easy to be used on top of supports, but completely taking it away from the role takes away from the playmaking that the role might have. Leaving resources like cleanse and ancestral healing being available to the actual support are things that I think must exist for the support role to be a playmaker in the long run. The most important thing though is that when these resources are used on the support that they're limited or hindered so they cannot actually be abused. Rhaegar saw some really good changes and really aggressive play style after his rework. 
A lot of people are fearful that the Ancestral Trains will push him back into being this heal bot only style healer, and I kind of agree with what they have to say for the most part. It's important to keep in mind that actually the heal bot style healers I think are very relevant for the game as well, so don't... I'm not saying that I don't think that role should exist, I just don't think that Rhaegar is one of the characters that should fill it. Essentially, the sit back and heal style healer is kind of counterintuitive to Rhaegar's kit. The argument currently on the table that was presented by Blizzard that is that Rhaegar is too hard to kill with what he provides, and I don't disagree with that statement. But I just wanted to present some other ways that we might be able to look at the problem that is the survivability of Rhaegar. If Rhaegar is truly too hard to kill, I feel like there's a couple of things that we can be looking at to solve the problem. One thing we can look at is his healing, another thing we can look at is his mobility, and the third thing we can look at is his tankiness. Ways to approach his healing being too high is either, number one, you do what was suggested and you just don't let Rhaegar be able to cast Ancestral on himself. The second thing you can do is actually lower the amount of healing Ancestral healing does to only Rhaegar. Overall, I feel like not allowing Rhaegar to cast Ancestral healing on himself takes away from what his kit innately promotes, aggressive play. And then when you look at it, adjusting the amount of healing done to himself when he uses the Ancestral on himself is a way to approach the problem, but maybe not a perfect solution. If you think about it, not being able to cast Ancestral for the full value on yourself takes away from the playmaking aspect of the support role once again. If Rhaegar stands in the middle of your team and he baits an immense amount of cooldowns from your team to where it's going to inevitably force you guys to lose the team fight after that point, and he gets just this godlike Ancestral onto himself and he's able to survive, he should be able to push his team into a winning situation. If you then take Ancestral and nerf the amount of that it does to him directly, he will no longer be able to survive these type of situations, and therefore his playmaking is a little bit weaker. If a warrior was to do the exact same thing as Rhaegar, there's no reason that the Rhaegar should be punished for being a support. If you are able to make the play at any level, it doesn't matter if it's a warrior in there, it doesn't matter if it's an assassin, if you are making a knowledgeable play and abusing the huge heal that is Ancestral Healing, there's no reason that it shouldn't be viable for a Rhaegar to be able to do that himself. A game-changing Ancestral should remain just that, a game-changing Ancestral, no matter who the target is. Ancestral Healing was actually just moved to a 100 second cooldown, which is equivalent of some of the most powerful heroics in the entire game. Apocalypse, Void Prison, and Tranquility, and even Sindragosa have that uh, the duration of cooldown. I'm sorry, somebody had to make that joke. Even Divine Shield, which debatably has more influential uses than Ancestral, has a 10 second shorter cooldown. If Ancestral is going to be used on the Rhaegar, it doesn't matter if it's going to be a positive or negative effect onto the team fight. It should not be lessened. Uh, playmakers shouldn't be punished just because they're on the support role. My biggest problem when you look at Rhaegar's health as a problem for the survivability of Rhaegar is that no matter what adjustment you make, you take away from the health bar being a resource for Rhaegar to abuse and outplay his opponents, and that's never a good thing. If looking at Rhaegar's healing isn't the way to fix him, then let's look at his mobility. He's actually one of the most mobile heroes in the game. Is that a problem? This is actually something that I'm not going to indulge in that much, mainly because I feel like anything you touch when it comes to Rhaegar's mobility, you take away from one of two things. One thing you're going to take away from is what it means to be Rhaegar and be that kind of shaman. Ghost Wolf is a very important thing to that kit. And number two is it takes away from the playstyle and aggressive playstyle that Rhaegar's kit overall kind of pushes towards. If you touch his mobility almost in any way, you hurt his kit without a doubt. So overall, I'm actually just going to completely avoid the mobility. I don't think there's any place where you can adjust that much like the healing to where you don't hurt what it means to be playing as Rhaegar. Rhaegar actually has the second highest health pool out of all the supports at level 20, except for Uther. That's the only one who beats him, and it's by a whopping 11 HP. Rhaegar also has more health than Kerrigan, Karazim, Thrall, Zul, and even Anubarak. These aren't necessarily the most tanky heroes that I'm listing, but they are heroes that are considered the bruiser-style role, and Rhaegar's health bars fall in line with theirs. If you combine his high level health with his mobility and his healing, it suddenly becomes a very, very big problem to his survivability. But as I stated before, I feel like if you touch his mobility a little bit too much, you're going to pull away from what it means to play Rhaegar and hurt his aggressive style play, that playmaking style we've been worried about so much this entire time. If you look at Rhaegar's health compared to some of the other supports, he actually, at level 20, has over a thousand health more than Brightwing, Lili, Medic, Tassadar, and Tyrande. And obviously, it's understandable that Rhaegar is a melee, so he's going to have a little bit more health, but it doesn't change the fact that a thousand health is nothing to laugh at post-20. I feel like adjusting the numbers around his health by a significant amount will only hurt his aggressive style of play. It will not out touch his outplay potential, which is absolutely crucial at the competitive level.
Support should be punished if they burn too many resources on themselves to keep themselves alive, but they should have the option to do so. And it leaves the potential for outplay in other situations when they are being the best support that they can possibly be. Making game-changing plays should be possible from all roles, and the continuous possible removal of tools like this from the support role is something that I feel like definitely hurts the role in the future of the game. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And again, uh, a lot of this was about to try and talk about uh, like the conversation and maybe bring up some possible solutions for what is this very big panic of Rhaegar's changes. Again, I'm not saying that I think the Rhaegar changes that are going to be absolutely terrible. I do think they do pull, obviously, a little bit away from the playmaking. But more than anything, I want to talk about kind of the movement of the support role into the future. And so uh, let me know in the comments or anywhere else uh, what you guys feel like about the support role in the future and maybe some changes that we can try to make um to make the role better and healthier for the future of heroes of the storm because i think it's absolutely necessary um so until then thank you guys for tuning in i hope you like the video and go fast and take chances